A warm welcome is guaranteed on board the Mizr, perhaps the most eye-catching and historic ship cruising the Nile. 63 metres long and 14 metres wide, she carries a maximum of 44 guests, looked after by a crew of 65. Let's take a look around. Fully air-conditioned throughout, a welcoming lobby and grand staircase leads to the Marisem restaurant on the main deck. One deck up and you have the bar and lounge. This is where lectures and briefings are held, as well as occasional evening entertainment. The lounge opens to the lower sun deck, and then just one flight of stairs takes you up to the sun deck that runs the full length of the ship. On this deck, there are plenty of comfortable lounges and a lovely plunge pool. It's, it's a wonderful ship with a, a long history, and it's, a, I guess, a unique experience to be on a steamship. I mean, I know it's in the name, but you think, OK, it's a leftover name, but no, it really is a steamship. And uh, it has that kind of old-school grandeur and elegance about it. You never feel overcrowded. You can have privacy if you want it, but equally you can meet people and talk. Um, up on the upper deck, it's lovely. Plenty of shade, which you need. It's just lovely to see everyday life slowly passing by. You know, it's, you're, you're looking at scenes that probably haven't changed for thousands of years. It's so relaxing. You can have everything coming to you and you're on this beautiful ship. It couldn't be better. There are 22 cabins on board the Ms. spread over three decks. Each is individually styled with period furniture and plush decor. All cabins have an ensuite bathroom with a bath and shower, as well as the usual TV, mini bar, robes, and hairdryer. It's got a comfortable bed. It has all the necessary uh, furniture. This is better than the modern cabins, which are made in a factory and dropped into the ship. This is, yeah, this is different. It's very well designed. All the facilities are just wonderful and beautifully looked after. All cabins have patio doors leading to a side balcony with two stools, apart from the two panorama suites on the upper deck at the bow, which open to a private balcony. We always book early so that we can choose the cabin that we like. The, the main reason we chose this particular cabin was because of the balcony. There are easy chairs and we can sit and watch both sides of the river at the same time, which is amazing. Prepared by a talented team of Egyptian chefs, the food on board the Mizr is generally served buffet style in the air-conditioned comfort of the restaurant. Everybody will be told we were going to Egypt. They said, oh, don't eat the salad, don't eat the fruit. But you come on here and you just feel really confident that that's not true because they take such great care in the preparation of the food. Wine, beer and soft drinks are included with lunch and dinner. For a change of scene, there are occasional barbecues up on deck and afternoon tea is served in the lounge every day. There's such a choice yes. and it's been a lovely mix of Egyptian food and other food. We saw the kitchens, didn't we? All beautifully washed and sterilised. Super food, super good, cooked beautifully. With so much to see along the Nile, the planning and execution of the day-to-day -day itinerary is in the expert hands of the Noble Caledonia tour manager and two Egyptian cruise directors. When you go ashore, they each lead a smaller group in order to provide more intimate, guided tours of the sites. And the information they provide is complemented by a series of onboard lectures from a guest historian. Cruise director Mohammed here explains how the days pan out. We always prefer to start as early as possible, just, it's just to enjoy as much as we can from the day before it gets too hot. By midday, we're already on board, having lunch and relaxing for a bit before going maybe to do a late afternoon activity. This is how we normally pace the uh, trips if it is a full day, so always a break in between, avoiding the sun between 12 and 3. first few days were really full on, but you know, we didn't come here to sit about in the sun. Uh, we came here to see some of the most amazing things that you can see. 
The sights you'll visit on a Nile cruise are of course wondrous, but in between there's plenty of time to reflect and relax. And particularly pre and post dinner, socialise with other guests and enjoy occasional entertainment on board. It's culturally stimulating, it's, um, it's not overwhelming. I think that's fantastic, I'd recommend it to anybody.